Well, today we're going to be looking at the paracord and phase array element spawns. Uh, first off, I'm going to start on the southern end of the map, and we're going to be entering the tunnels and sewers. Also, whenever you come across a toolbox, make sure to loot them for a low percent chance for a paracord. Now at the bottom of these stairs, you can find tools everywhere and a lot of valuable weapon attachments just strewn about on the floor. Coming into this room, I check all the blue lockers for paracord spawns on each of their shelves. And coming outside, again, I look for loose tools. Now up here on this metal ramp, we have phased array element spawn points. They're pretty much on each one of the metal shelves, so I look everywhere. Also, again, I check the toolboxes for more paracord spawns. In this room, you can loot two filing cabinets in the safe, but it's not technically part of this route for paracord and arrays. Then on the bottom here, you can find intel sitting on the desk, and you can loot the toolbox in the corner. Coming over here, there's loose tools behind these metal pipes, and you can go downstairs and look on the wooden tables for any additional loose tools. Now that we're in the basement of White Pond, you can stop here for a weapon box and a toolbox. From White Pond, I run right over to Black Pond, and I go straight into its basement in order to look for the marked room. Phased array elements have a very low percent chance to spawn here, but they can. Now also in the courtyard by Chopper, there is a technical crate where you can find both arrays and paracords in there. However, it is such high risk due to it being right in the open that I normally don't ever add it to my route, and instead I just go straight out to the bunkers. So by the northeast bunkers, there is one that is completely inaccessible, so we kind of just run past it. But always keep in mind that you can stop by the tanks near the bunkers in order to look for valuable loose loot around. Now the only bunker you can go into in the northeast is one of the best places to find phased arrays. They can be found anywhere on the tables, shelves, and on the crates. And don't forget to check the blue shelves near the entrance for more paracord spawns. Then in this tiny building, there's another blue shelf that you can check for another paracord spawn. Mm -hmm. 
Making your way over to train station, there is one toolbox you can check. Afterwards, I run straight to the road buildings by train station. Loose tools can be found everywhere here, but especially near the toolbox on the shelves. And then don't forget to check the blue shelves again. And there are also more good loose tools over here. Then over here we have another technical crate and you can loot those again for paracords. Then afterwards we run through the shortcut and straight into Hermetic Bunker Garage. First I stop by these pallets and I take whatever loose loot is on them. And then I go inside here to the RBPS82 room. In the back there is one technical crate and again you can find parrot cords here. Coming to RBPS81 there is again another cr technical crate right in the front and then the rest are just medical and rations. I say just, but the medical and ration are actually both pretty valuable too. Don't be afraid to stop by and loot more stuff on your route. Then checking over here on the shelves and in the blue lockers, we look for more paracords. Then going into RBPSP1, there is again one more technical crate. Then out in the main center of garage, you can find more potential loose tool spawns. Now the upper level of Hermetic Bunker, what I like to call pass-through, is one of the most likely spots you will find paracord, and in fact, rarely you can find it in abundance. In one raid, I found three paracords sitting on a single bench. Then I run outside here to train station, checking the two blue lockers on the outside first. Then I run inside looking at those blue lockers, and then I check the platforms for potential paracord spawns and one more toolbox. Running outside here, we have the next marked room, the RBVO key. And again, the phased arrays rarely spawn in these rooms, but they sometimes do, and these are the best rooms for loot otherwise on the entire map. You can stop by this tiny building for another weapons box, but otherwise I continue further for the bunkers. Like in the northeast, the tanks can sometimes spawn really valuable stuff around them. Especially for the scav in a box, it can spawn a gold chain on the floor next to it.
Now inside of the bunkers, you can find potential paracords and phased arrays just sitting on any of the tabletops and shelves. And again, don't forget to ever check any of the open blue lockers you come across. Tank batteries and the mortar shells can spawn around tanks, so always make sure to stop by and look for those. Here you can find tools, more paracord, and fuel. Also in the back you will find another phased array element spawn and a toolbox, along with a shelving unit with a bunch of loose tools on it. Now from here you have the option of going for armored train, hermetic bunker, or trying your luck through the sewer entrance. But since I do have a paracord in the RR melee weapon, I instead go through the cliff descent extract. On my way over, I stop by the small building for more loose tools about, and I check the inner blue lockers for more potential paracords. You can stop by this building for more filing cabinets and loose loot, but otherwise I continue for my extract. Now before I end, I want to give one fast tip. Now I always keep a paracord in my gamma in order to use the cliff descent extract, but if I ever find one in raid, I immediately hide the one in my gamma where no one will ever find it, and then I instead take the new paracord and use that to extract. You can ensure paracord, so it's almost a guaranteed 190k. I think there's a dead body there. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, guys. Come on, let's get closer. Look at that. That's a dead body right there. So, anyway, if you're sad, don't be sad. <laughs>